Oh my God, listen, stop scrolling. I got an announcement for you guys. Today is Power Speaks Louder's birthday. I'm so hyped. I'm very emotional, um, very sensitive. We have reached five years today. And wow, it has been a journey. And if you have no idea what this organization, Power Speaks Louder, is about, it's really, it's been built just to empower people. We first started off motivating youth in crisis, um, low-income families and the homeless. And we would go out to schools and build these whole experiences just so people can know that they are loved and have a vital purpose. And that has took off and we had to pivot when COVID-19 hit. And we've been feeding the community every second and fourth Thursday. When we first started, we was doing it every week. We only started with about 100 boxes and it grew to like 480 boxes. We had to have like eight pallets on the truck. And, you know, just doing it from scratch. I literally did not have an income for four whole years. It sounds crazy. And I'm not ashamed to say it, but I literally wanted to devote my whole self without my time being you know into a job or and there's nothing wrong with that but i felt a strong calling to just put everything on the side to just focus a hundred percent on building power speaks louder so i built that in my parents home and you know uninterrupted that's when i really started to understand what my purpose was and it really took off and it has paid off tremendously. So I wanna encourage anybody out there who has, has a dream, you know what I mean? Please do not give up because if I would've gave up on Power Speaks Louder, we wouldn't have been able to see the amazing outcome and all the people that were touched as a result of the yes. And I truly believe this is a God dream because I was you know, a designer, I was a shoe designer in New York and wanting to pursue fashion in all different types of ways. And I thought that was gonna bring me success, but I had an emptiness inside where I wanted to be fulfilled. And Power Speaks Louder chose me, you know, to lead. And this organization has so, it has seven divisions. And we've been able to execute that through health and wellness, which is called PSO Evolve. You know, we have an outreach. We serve youth in crisis. We serve people with the needs that they um, pretty much meeting their needs in a tangible way. And, you know, PSL podcast is a division that you guys might have seen. Um, we have creative, which is like what you see as the backdrop of when we renovate spaces. And we have collection with this collectible products dropping soon. So these are just like these have been my babies. Like it's like a child having multiple babies or a, a birthing a baby that has families. And I'm just, I'm just so, so, so proud, you know, uh, of the journey. But I just want to get on here and just let everybody know it is our birthday today. So you can sew a love gift to Power Speaks Louder on our website at www.powerspeakslouder.com forward slash invest. You can give, um, you can send in a, a gift via mail. I believe our post office box is PO Box 1264, Moreno Valley, California, 92553. Um, send that in. I'm actually, I don't even think I'm even putting any graphics on this video because I just really wanted, you know, to share my heart about, you know, the feeling, you know, that I woke up with today and I literally cried when I walked up the stairs and I seen, you know, educated and empowered. I just seen the plaques and things that we've been able to track. And it just made me very emotional because, you know, when you're building something, you don't, you don't know, you know, how Ah, I didn't want to cry. <laughs> um, you don't know how far you're going to get, you know? You just don't know. And there's nights that you stay up late. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. No, no. <laughs> okay. There's nights that you stay up working and you, you know, want to have a successful outcome of your business and... You know, you want to help people, but it's always, it's hard to help people. It's not easy helping people, you know? And, uh, yeah, you're banging on doors, asking for help, and then not everybody's clapping for you. You don't get this. <laughs> you don't get people clapping for you, you know? You have to wake up, and you have to get to it and do it every day, whether people are watching you, whether people are celebrating you. And this video, I swear to you, is, is for the people out there, to the person that I'm speaking directly to that has a vision and has a dream and, and want to pursue something that is going to change your entire life and wanting to devote your time to it and wanting to commit to it. 
but you're distracted by what people are saying, um, content creation, building your brand, you know, these things that, you know, sometimes we get too wrapped up into, it, it can really distract us. But if you can take a moment of your life, whether that's a year, whether that's two, three, four, whatever time it takes to be still and to be quiet and to understand what that that small voice inside is saying and what God is saying to you. And this is for anybody, whether you are a believer or you're not. My heart is for people to receive this message and the authenticity of my testimony itself, because God has truly brought me this far. And I'm so encouraged uh, and I want to encourage people that it are discouraged because I was discouraged. And there's often times that I get discouraged in this whole process. And, um, Man, I promise you, if you if you stick with it and if you don't care what other people think or even if you do care what they think, to do it afraid and do it anyway. And you'll look up and be so proud of where you've come. And man, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to look ideal. It doesn't have to look like Power Speaks Louder. It doesn't have to look like Apple and Nike. It doesn't have to look like the brands that you rock with that you're so inspired by. But it is going to be very unique. And if you put your authenticity in it, if you be yourself, if you cry when you want to cry, if you, you know, feel vulnerable at times, if you still want to get on the camera and say a message, you know, don't don't let that stop you. And let me be a true representation of, of what's possible for you. And this, this is directly to you. This isn't even at this moment. It, it's not even about a bunch of people. Um, even if it's one person that I'm, I'm speaking to that you have something that you want to pursue and you don't know where to start, or if you started and you've, you know, got distracted or losing focus based on, you know, whatever type of things are standing in your way, you know, lack of family support, lack of friends sharing your post and lack of people, you know, cheering you and rooting you on, you got to be the one that clap for yourself. And as you're clapping for yourself, you know, I'm clapping for you because I know what it's like, you know, for people to just be standing on the sidelines waiting to, for you to move. And then by then you keep being consistent and then people are going to pat you on the back and say they're proud of you. But even if they don't still do it anyway, still do it anyway. And we reached five years. Power Speaks Louder has existed for five years, y'all. Like we started in 2016 and today, July 25th is our birthday. And behind this camera that I'm filming on right now are plaques. Y'all might've seen this in my stories. Y'all might've seen this on my page. I need to show this stuff more often, but it's plaques of what we've done in the community and things that we were afraid to do. And even with the plaques on the wall that remind me of the accomplishments, and these are the trophies that I've made for us to be, you know, celebrating, you know, no matter who celebrates us or who gives us an award, even doing this, sometimes I still get discouraged. Even doing this, I still don't feel good enough. And I know it's, it's a real thing, you know, and I've been withholding something that's so special to me. And today, I think the only way this could be a real thing where I just like step out on faith with you, you know, is to make an announcement that I wasn't prepared to make. All right. I'll say that. So I have an announcement to make y'all. Yeah. I can't believe I'm crying on camera. Um, I have an announcement to make. Let me drink some tea. <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to do this. Um, the announcement is that Power Speaks Louder has an app in the App Store. Um, it's in the iOS App Store, Apple. It's in the App Store of Google. Um, it's in the Amazon App Store. And it can be downloaded across the world. You know, anybody that's interested in learning about Power Speaks Louder anybody that's interested in being on this journey with us. And the reason why I'm, I'm setting it up like this, and it's very real, this is very candid, um, is because I didn't think the app was prepared enough to share with the world yet. And we've had this thing since I probably like March or May or something like that. And, you know, we haven't released it yet because it's not ready um, to my liking and there's some things I wanted to update, but it is a place where you can give 
it is a place that you can receive notifications for content. So, you know, instead of it being just on YouTube and Instagram, we have a digital home now that you can go to when you want to be inspired. If you want to binge on positive content, that's the, that's the message, right? That's what we want to give to people. If you want to take a hiatus off of social media, but you still want to be empowered without being bombarded with everybody else's, you know, announcements or, you know, feeling the pressure of the social space, you know, this app is where you can go to, to see some videos and to hear some podcasts, to watch other inspirational videos, because we do have a section on there called PSO Film which is one of the divisions of Power Speaks Louder that's meant to share different narratives. So it's not just about what we do, but it's also like the videos that inspired us and the videos that, you know, pricks our hearts or prick my heart that I actually shared with different audiences. You know, it's on there, you know, and it's, it's the beginning. So we're going to continue to be building it, but you can go ahead and download it on your device. Check it out. Like I said, like, there's so, like, the, this is the first time that like, I'm letting y'all in on a very vulnerable moment. I'm letting you in on a very vulnerable moment for me because I never release something that I'm not fully proud of, right? And, and this is something, I think it's important for me to do this because I know there, there may be unfinished work that is beautiful that you've created, that there's unfinished things that you've spoken about um, that you're a little hesitant of, of sharing because you feel like it just needs a little bit more. But sometimes our our perfection can withhold, you know, a, a great message. It, it's really hiding what people really need, you know. So there's this quote from Power Speaks Louder that says, the world is waiting for you to tap into your identity. And we're waiting. We're, we're like looking to and fro to see who is authentic. You know, we're looking to see, like, how can we you know, just collectively tap into our gifts because we, we're inspired by what people do and how people jump off on, you know, their own projects that they were scared to do. So we have an app and app store, go download it. Um, it is in raw form and we're going to continue to add things to it. And I just hope you enjoy it in the process. And if I can leave you with anything as I share this right now, um, raw. Okay. I'm also shooting this on an iPhone 12 pro max. Okay. So before y'all start thinking that this is like some crazy expensive equipment, like I got my iPhone plugged up with a live mic, you know, and when I do podcasts, we have some, you know, podcasting mics and headphones and stuff like that. So there's different types of formats and context that we, in the meantime, use what you have. You don't need the most expensive equipment out there. You don't need a videographer, and a, a cinematographer to follow you so you can just do like you do what you do with what you have. And that's the key and that's the trick and that's the code. OK, that's the secret is to start with what you have, because it's going to create a measurement of growth. And because we started in 2016 and now we're here in 2021 and it's like, all these amazing things have happened. I'm like, oh my God, if I was wanting this when I first started, I would have never got to see the beauty of the journey. So whether you have an Android, iPhone, you know, you got a little baby mic, whatever it is. And I'm maybe just speaking to somebody who wants to build content. But even if you're not even in the content space and you're working on different types of projects that have nothing to do with social media, do it with what you have, with the people that's in your corner. If ain't nobody in your corner, you be in your own corner, okay? Because that's what it's about. And you got to clap for yourself. And I will clap for you because it's possible and it's true. So stay true to you. Do what you can do with what you have. And I promise you, you'll look up and be so proud of yourself. And if you're not proud of yourself today, you got to work on that because you have to know that it's a, it's a progressive thing. And we're going to go to level to level to level to experience the greatness that's within, within us, okay? Love you so much. Thank you for tuning in. We have an app, y'all. It's out. Oh my God, did I just do this? This is supposed to be a test run. <sighs> but is this the real thing, God? Is this what I'm supposed to do? All right, I guess it is. But anyway, check it out. Stay tuned for more. Love you, peace. Happy birthday.